Good morning, and welcome to this joint hearing with the Research and Technology Subcommittee and the Energy Subcommittee. A warm welcome as well to our distinguished group of witnesses. Today is dedicated to every student, researcher, engineer, line worker, product manager, and American family wondering about the future of the United States industrial base and our limitless potential for innovation and the strength of our workforce. This hearing is inspired by the motivation and desire for American excellence, where software engineers meet assembling workers to deliver unprecedented quality, where and how we innovate the future. It is particularly significant to welcome former colleagues, a constituent from Michigan's 11th District, Mr. Ryan Myers from Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence, located in Wixom and in Troy. Manufacturing USA is a network of institutes that bring together multiple federal agencies, large and small manufacturers, universities, community colleges, and nonprofits to catalyze new technologies, meet research needs, and train the workforce of the future. This initiative bore out of a policy prescription to answer the question we as a nation faced in the post-recession era. How do we foster a competitive innovation agenda and ensure that the research and technology happens in our communities in partnership with inclusive and necessary stakeholders? It is a sincere and tremendous honor to recognize the achievement of our revitalized approach to advanced manufacturing innovation and what so many have dedicated the last decade towards achieving, beginning with a pilot institute in Youngstown led by the National Center for Defense Manufacturing and Machining America Makes has invested in the development of 3D printing technologies and supply chain adoption. In addition, they have developed a workforce training roadmap for the nation, including a veteran training program. The Manufacturing USA Institutes are a critical part of U.S. global leadership in advanced manufacturing. The institutes provide a unique collaborative platform for U.S. industry and academia to exchange best-in-class expertise to solve challenges and push the bounds of innovation. They also create a valuable opportunity for industry partners of all sizes to network, share data, exchange technology, and generate new business. Small and medium-sized companies make up 98% of all manufacturing firms in the United States, and the institutes provide unique access to research and innovation critical to keeping their businesses competitive, work that they could not do alone. As we'll hear today, the private sector has been overwhelmingly supportive of the Manufacturing USA, to USA Institutes. Commitments of support over the program's life have grown to more than three billion. One billion of federal funds matched by over two billion of non-federal investment. The role of the federal government to catalyze new approaches to research and development remains imperative and defines the value of the Manufacturing USA Institutes. It requires federal leadership to bring all stakeholders to the table to tackle large problems, develop new innovation, and address large as well as acute workforce training needs. This has proven successful, and it has been encouraged by dozens of manufacturing executives, university presidents, and experts such as the Advanced Manufacturing Partnership Steering Committee and the President's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology. Heated global competition and the race to win the future is most certainly upon us. We acknowledge governments and free market economies around the world have stepped up their investments in converting basic research into new manufacturing goods and processes. Today, 
Japan spends about 7% of its government R&D budget on this translational research. Germany spends about 12,000 12%. Uh, South Korea spends about 30%. The US in contrast spends just 0.5%. We also today recognize the need to develop and elevate the priority of a skilled advanced manufacturing workforce by empowering Manufacturing USA to work with its partners. The demand for manufacturing jobs is met with a gulf of a readily available workforce. Currently, the skills gap for advanced technology jobs is projected to leave nearly 2.4 million positions unfilled between today and 2028, with a potential economic impact of 2.5 trillion. In this hearing, we will learn how the Manufacturing USA Institutes have been successful and consider opportunities to improve the work that they do either through the transfer of new technologies throughout the supply chain or in workforce development or by way of other regional economic development goals that have been articulated by the communities where the institutes exist. I welcome your expert and exciting testimony, and I look forward to working together with my great and passionate colleagues on both sides of the aisle to make sure that the state of advanced manufacturing in the United States of America remains strong and is supported by the full faculties of the federal government. And with that, I yield back.